Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome to a new game. This one is called Pulse Shift. I'm gonna give it a go. Um, before I say anything about this game, you'll notice the number in the top left corner of the screen, the, the crazy one. Um, because I'm recording this at 30 frames, you can actually understand that number more than I can. But wow, is it just constantly changing. This is apparently my FPS. Um, I looked at the options and I, and I toggled it on and off. And yeah, this is, this is my FPS, so I'm running a crisp uh, 900, 600, 900, 600, 700, 800 frames a second. So, let's play this game. Um, game difficulty hard. This is the default game difficulty. And uh, normal. This difficulty includes more energy and time to react. This is the same as hard difficulty, but only three rewinds are available. This difficulty includes a lot of energy and time to react. This is the default difficulty. Well, any veteran of my channel knows I'm a me I'm a medium normal kind of guy, but I think I'll try hard this time, since it's the basic. A uh, tutorial, sure, close. Oh, what? Oh, okay, I get it. Double click the selected level to play. I can do that. Yay! Tutorial basics. There's E key to use. Let's see here. This is one of the tutorial levels which will show you the basic game mechanics. Read these question marks carefully. I shall. Use, uh, the game is controlled with WASD and the maps. Each of the game mentions difficult rotating arrows. If you make a mistake, you can rewind time for a few seconds by pressing R or wheel button on the mouse. You can also hold and release a key for the custom control of rewinding. Uh, the small bar on the left indicates when rewind is available. Underneath my FPS. Nice. This new version contains game modes which can help you with uh, find hidden bonuses, G, and use time acceleration or sprint, left shift. Modes can be found in options control menu. Okay. Gravity's a little low. Uh, keep looking at me. Press left mouse button and wait. Oh, wait. Ah ha! That's how you change gravity. Really peculiar. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I get it. I get it, okay? I'm not even reading it anymore. I'm just sort of doing it. This is definitely a neat mechanic. Okay, you click it once, you don't hold it. Neat. Okay, gravity. Oh, God. This low fucking gravity. Yeah, I, I don't care at all about fast motion, okay? I'll fucking rotate it every what fucking speed I want. Use. Use. Oh, okay. Level complete. Tutorial rotations. Haven't I already done this? Um. Control. <clears throat> wow, I just looked at my fucking capture and holy shit, is it not. Oh, fuck! No! <laughs> in my capture and it is not collecting all the frames it should be. Holy shit, is it just doing the bad. Hockeys and bonuses are not affected by time. Uh. Yeah, sorry about the, uh, the lack of frames, guys. Apparently, uh, this is not a game I should be recording. This is what I've learned today. Wrong. Eh? Yeah, I'll, uh... 
Yeah, sorry about uh, the lack of frames you get. That's really weird. I just looked back and yeah, it was it was really just had a fuck ton of slowdown right there. And now it's fine. Like what? All right. What what do you what do you have to say? Read. Most of the chapters have a 3D background, which can disable any time by pressing B. To quick save lo pro level progress, you can use the ability called Imprint. This ability creates fixed point in time and space. If you fail in some case, you will be returned to this point. To use the ability quickly, press tab three times. Peculiar. Uh, number of uses depends on the game difficulty. No, I don't want to do that. Yep. Try quick save by pressing tab three times. One, two, three. I did it. I, I, I did, though. I specifically did that. Weirdo game. Chapter Zero, easy way. Oh, I gotta collect that thing, I assume. Read me. Uh, right under here is a collectible bonus. Collecting all bonuses in the chapter will unlock a bonus level. What if I don't care about that, though? Where's the exit? There it is. <laughs> Headphones are dying. Rip headphone user. Up, oh. pick you up, plug you in. Like this is a cool game. Don't get me wrong. And it reminds me of Marble Blast Ultra, which is a game I fucking adored uh, when I was younger. But like, fucking press B. Oh well, that certainly. Ugh. I like how uh, the gray the background is as opposed to white. Okay, where, which specific way do I want to go? Eh. One minute. Eh. I mean, it's a neat puzzle game, don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's a little off, I guess. Chapter Zero, Easy Way 2. What do you have to say, friend? In front of you is a platform which randomly disappears. You will need to wait and jump at the right time. Be patient. Randomly disappears. Sure. Where's the exit? That's right there. On the other fucking side of that. Well, that's a shame. Yep. 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 This feels like a speedrunning game, not gonna lie. Like, this feels like a game that was designed for speedrunning. So, like, Dead Core, I doubt I'll actually play it all that much. Hold G to find the level goal. Arg! Okay, well. Oh, fuck, that's the wrong button. Yeah, okay, cool. Just give me the fucking... <laughs> These controls, man, they're not the best. Hold G. I'm... Oh, okay. It doesn't move your camera. You know, I can respect that. Where do I want to go? Seems like I want to go that way. Because I can't go this way, I will die. Alright. I mean, I like the gravity mechanic. That's neat. Yep. 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 Well, goodbye. Goodbye, dear life. Yep. No, fuck you. Fuck. How do 
even get there. Seems like I have to go over there. To, to do that, I must go over here. Now here's a question. Can I double... Can I double think? Hang on. I want to test this out. Oh shit, I can! Alright. I can double load it. Platform only disappears if you're on it at the time. So I'm gonna wait for you to do the thing. Or, or not. Yeah, apparently you're not gonna. I hit it twice! No! Hit it twice, idiot! Well, oh well. Yeah, I think I'm done. Honestly, as far as puzzle games go, this was alright. Didn't enjoy it as much as I could have. It's a little... Not polished, I guess. I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say. Like, after the Lara Croft Go game, it's, it's difficult to stack up, but like... I don't know, it just, it didn't feel very... Done. I guess. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, I did enjoy it for what it was... For what it was, it was nice and fun. Um, not sure I'd play it again. But it is, there is definitely a good game here. I just didn't really experience it. I didn't put in enough effort to experience it. And, of course, I can't record it because of the whole uh, lack of frames issue. Um, so, yeah, definitely if, if you enjoyed this, then I say get it. Uh, you know, go on Steam, pick it up. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, well, I mean, I can't really help that, sorry. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, uh, puzzle game. <laughs> not really good, not really bad, just sort of puzzle game, you know? Anyway, thank you for watching. You have yourself a delightful day. I'll see you tomorrow.